What's up? How you guys doing out there today? I hope you're having a good day. I am doing fantastic here in the Art Prima warehouse in Seattle. Uh, today we got a great video on deck showcasing some great female caps to mount on your male cans from Krylon Fusion to Krylon Color Max to Rusto White Label to Painter's Touch all the way up to Turbo. That's right. We have female caps that direct mount without the need for an adapter. Now this video is a few days late. I do apologize. I did have some issues with audio because well, frankly, I'm a dummy. I messed up the audio and I had to spend a bit of time trying to get everything adjusted. Thankfully, this intro and outro will be recorded correctly. Anyways, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Buckle in, strap in. We about to get cracking. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See you in a second. All right, guys, let's talk about some of my favorite caps that you can use on the Rust-Oleum Turbo Can. Starting from the left, we have a Killer Bee cap, which is fitted for the four millimeter stem, as well as the Valspar Flare cap, which I think we should change the name of, since Valspar is kind of dead. I think they're kind of dead now. Uh, we should probably just call it the Flare cap. And then we also have the All-Star cap, which is very popular in our Seattle store. This little guy right here. People love this cap in the Seattle store. So we're gonna give that one a shot today as well too. So why don't we go ahead and get them mounted and see what they're like. <laughs> Thing is huge, man. It's like a weapon. Freeze! It is seriously a lethal weapon of the streets. It really is. Now the stock cap is crazy. It is a crazy cap, but it's kind of a can dumper. You know what I'm saying? And if you wanna rock some, some nice flare tags or whatever, you need something with a little bit more finesse. You feel me? Just a little bit more finesse. So why don't we start with the all-star cap? Because you know what? The homies in Seattle, this is what they like. This is what they like. And keep in mind, whenever you mount one of these caps all the way, it's gonna spray a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Watch yeah. out there. Got a little on my lens. First, let's start with a little flare. There we go. Now the cap is mounted properly. Oh yeah, look at that. That is really nice. Nice solid line here. Nice little donut, a little bit further away. Uh, yeah, nice. It's not the fattest spray, but it's very controllable. Uh, probably should, we'll, we'll tag some little higher stuff up with it here, but there we go. It's got a really nice flare to it. There we go. Now it's mounted. All right, up next is the flare. And I can tell you already, I do like the way it feels better than the All-Star. Woo, oh man. Okay, this is much fatter, much more high output than the All-Star. That is true, that is really true. Um, oh man. I could see why someone would like the All-Star though, because it has but more buttery flares than this. But this is still pretty nice. Good grief. I don't think I have room to write flare, but that's okay. We just want to see how it looks. Okay, so the flare, it has very thick fat flares. Wow, that is really nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give the Killer Bee a shot. And yes, I am tagging while I'm sitting down. I am doing that. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, it's one of those. It's like a soft, flary... A, a soft, airy flare, but then it's kind of a can dumper when you get close. Interesting cat. I don't think the flare is as interesting as the actual flare cap though, but it looks good. It looks, it looks good. I mean, I think I still like the flare. This 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 has a a very pink dot. It looks like a pink dot. It really does. I like the pink dot. It's, it's a nice cap. It really is. Um, but I guess I've just seen enough pink dot tags for one lifetime. Don't get me wrong. It looks really good. It's got a good flow. But I 
like the flare. I think I really like the flare a lot more. Let's compare them. Okay, guys, up next is the Killer Bee, and I'm gonna hit up the homie Seer. Seer. I gotta move. Whew. Hopefully that doesn't mess up my flow. I don't think it did. Beautiful. The homie Seer. Okay, who else wants to hit off? Who else wants to hit off? All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the flare cap, and I'm gonna hit up the homie Q138. Q138, he's got a YouTube channel. Definitely give it a follow, Q138. Uh, he spells it with the C. If it were me, I'd spell it with the K. That's just me. That's just the way I like it. I think it would look good like that. Oh, running out of room. Give him the three dots. He likes it like this. You know, that works too. That definitely works as well. I just think the K is a little bit more hard hitting. That's just my dumb opinion. Take it or leave it. It's what it is. I mean, I am doing reviews, aren't I? I am doing reviews. Oh, let me, let me add a little bit of room here. The most requested hit off name right here is Joker, by far. The most requested, by far. Uh, and you know what? I gotta tell you guys, I still like the flare cap better. I like the flare cap better. It's got a nice, thicker flare. It really does. And you know what? I didn't even try the all star cap because I, it's just not for me. It's not for me. I like that brutal flare. And we still have, hmm, we still have like half the can. So it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so why don't we go to the closeout? Just keep it simple. Quick little review. I'll talk about these caps and then we'll move on to the next video. Easy as that. Boom, 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 boom. Pooh -ah. All right, guys, welcome to the next part of the video where we're going to talk about some special caps that work on your Rust Oleum enamel and Painter's Touch cans. Now, we've covered these before, uh, but there's always someone new trying to learn something. And, uh, you know, I like to repeat myself. I'm a repetitive wanker, if you would say. And uh, you know what? I just wanted to paint with some Rusto today and I wore the shirt, so why not? Why not do it? And uh, so why don't we do this? Let's talk about my, this is gonna hold my weight. Let's talk about my two favorite direct mount rust caps. Direct mount, no adapters needed. Just plop that bad boy on, you are out the door, ready to go. All right guys, up first is the rust Precise cap. Now I know you're probably telling yourself that it's just the stock tip. Oh no, friends. No. This is not the stock tip. <laughs> it is it is a cleaner, finer line than the stock tip. Now I actually like this Rustolium stock tip. I don't like the male valve. Those of you who know me know I do not care for the male valve, but we work around it. Um, <clears throat> But I do like the way the stock tip sprays, especially for like throw ups. It's a nice, it's a nice outline cap. And if you want to do that old school style, it's not hard to beat. But sometimes you want something a little bit cleaner, a little bit sharper. And that's where the precise cap comes in. It is very close. I guess my best way to describe it, it's a lot like the gray German outlines on the old Rusto valves, back when Rusto was gray. Now, <clears throat> somebody sent me a picture of some new Rusto cans with the vintage labels, and I was like, neat. <laughs> that was my suggestion, by the way. Go back to the old labels. But of course, they didn't go back to the old valves. So, nice try, Rusto. In the meantime, we will uh, we'll get around that by using these caps. I will tell you that, that this is a nice cap, and we'll show you guys in just a second. The other cap that I really like a lot, was that the one that I made go? Oh, yeah, right here. The female fat cap. This is a great cap. I think you'll really enjoy using it on your rust cans. Um, it just lays down a really nice clean line. Um, it's thick, lays out a lot of paint, but it's clean. Very, very clean. This cap is the closest you'll get to the old school Rusto fat cap. So see, even if they change the valve, the riders find a way to work around the system. 
All right, homies, so we got a nice stock can of Rustolian ready to rock. And this is the stock tip. Now, I actually like the stock tip on Rusto. I like the way it sprays. It comes out very thick, um, you know, not very wide. It is a bit on the drippy side, but you know, if you know what you're doing, you can manage it. Uh, but it doesn't really do any flare. You know what I mean? It doesn't really do any flare. So let me, uh, let me show you how the lines look with the stock Rusto. See, it's very thick. You can get very clean with it, but it's, it's not really like a cutting cap. You know what I mean? It's not really something you want to cut with. But it lays down a nice line. It really does lay down a nice, nice line. But sometimes, especially when you're piecing, you want something that has a little bit more, a bit more flair. Savoir faire, if you will. Let's get this uh, cap mounted on here. Make sure it's working here. So the precise cap, while it looks just like it, and I did dye it red, by the way, while it does look just like the stock tip, it's gonna create a softer spray, a softer, cleaner line. You see that right there? You're able to get those nice, flary, fat to skinny lines that everyone really loves. I gotta tell you, I really love this cap. I like not having to mess with the adapter. It's just a direct mount. And uh, as we always say, we are the hackers of society. We hack society. That is what we do. So why don't we do this? Why don't I uh, do like a quick little train panel style piece? We'll rock a little piece with some of these Rusto colors and uh, we'll see, oh, it's still wet. <laughs> That's one of my beasts with Rusto. It takes forever to try. <laughs> but anyways, let's, uh, let's rock a quick little piece, a little straight letter, and uh, I'll rock some of these colors. And uh, we'll check out the female fat cap with the precise cap. And then we'll go to the closeout and start the next video for next week. I was gonna, I was gonna buff this out, but then I was like, wouldn't it be more realistic if we just painted over it as is? You know, like maybe you're painting like a grilled, a grilled chill spot somewhere. You wanna see how the paint goes over. I mean, cause come on, people aren't really bringing roller to the yard anymore. Are they? Maybe some places. Let's do this. Oh, almost forgot. Female fat cap, homie. Female fat cap. All right, homies, that key line laid down beautifully. Very, very nice. I'm a fan. I already was. But up next is Satin Eden, another green that I like quite a much. Quite a much. Quite a much. Quite a bit. <laughs> Actually, I, I kind of like quite a much. I think I'm just gonna start saying that. <laughs> quite a much. Let's get cracking. Female fat cat. All right, guys, that satin Eden laid down beautifully. Beautifully. So why don't we put a couple little uh, doodads, little bubbles, you know, those little things that kind of give your fill a little bit of extra flavor. So I got some uh, gloss, brilliant blue. Let's rock it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, this is gonna be the precise cap, precise cap. I gotta tell you guys, this really is, this precise cap, it's as close as you're gonna find to an old school German outline on the old valve rusto. It's as close as you're gonna get. It's beautiful.
All right, guys, so I got one of these 25% more cans to do the outline with, and uh, well, why not? 25% more, you know? Now, these do only come in gloss, and some people don't like that. I don't really care, it's just like, whatever. Just rock it, rock it. What are you afraid of? Just use it. <laughs> Anyways, we got a precise cap on it, and it makes a big difference. So let's use it. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about 3D. Okay, so when you do in a 3D, all you have to do is this. Draw a line, draw a line going in the direction of your 3D. So let's say you want your 3D to go this way, right? You know what I'm saying? So you draw your line like this. Ooh, it's cutting out on me. Draw a line like that. Draw a line like that. Imagine them connecting. Obviously, it connects behind there. Boom, connect the line. Okay, what about a curved line, right? Draw a line right there. Draw one right there. You just made a 3D. Aren't you great? Aren't you great? You made a 3D. Look at you. I think I need a fresh can. This one's cutting out on me. Uh, but as you see, you just learned how to do a 3D. Let me do that real quick. I'll be right back with you. Uh, anyways, one thing I want to mention is uh, notice how I'm moving my splash. I'm making my splash like go over the old splash what was there before. So when you're going over something, you know, try to fill in that area. That way, uh, you know, you don't have that stuff hanging out. You know? Let's go ahead and rock this. Female fat cat, by the way. Look how you can reach. Really good for reaching. Now here's a color I really like. It's a gloss coral. If you were looking to do some vintage 1990s graffiti styles, get this color because it looks just like the old school like mobs and corals that they had in the early 90s. California colors is what they call them. So good. Awesome. Right, guys let's go ahead and rock the shines I got some flat flat white rusto it's a full can too normally I like to use a can that's like maybe like half full or less it's got a little bit less pressure get a little bit more control over it but we're rocking a full can today baby beautiful stuff so we're gonna be doing this with a precise cap of course it's pretty much all precise cap <laughs> it's a nice cap it goes pretty well I'm a big fan Hey, not bad. Look, we even have we even left some of the background in there. Those little houses and stuff like that. But the colors lay down really, really nicely. We got some nice color. Uh, I was able to keep the crab dude there. Got, got a little bit messy over here, but I just I ran out of that magenta, so I was in, wasn't able to fill that in. But you can see where, remember where the splash was over here? We were able to cover that splash. See how much cleaner it is on these parts right here? Remember all that splash that went down? I just used the same lines, covered it right up. And it's almost like I just made my own new background. Boom, didn't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I liked all the colors. I, you know, I like the look of the magenta. I didn't like how it went over the black. I didn't like how it didn't hide. Um, and the color was inconsistent throughout the whole can. So again, it could have been a dud. Hard to say, not, not too sure. I really like the coral. Uh, I like the key lime quite a bit in that blue. Ooh, that's a really, really nice blue. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. I gotta tell you the uh, precise cap. It's a really, really nice cap. I really enjoy using the female fat cap. And oh, that's a little bit off. That should be more like that. Ah, whatever. Screw it. If you ever look at a freight train panel up close, they're never quite as clean as you think. Um, unless it's maple, then they're really clean. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it's fine, it's fine. We did this relatively quickly and we had a lot of fun and uh, you guys got to see how these caps worked. And that is really what these videos are about. 
showing you guys how the caps work. You know, I could just draw a couple lines on the wall and call it a video, but I give you guys a full show. It's like a TV show. You know what I'm saying? It's a TV show. That's what this is. Anyways, let's go back to the warehouse, homies. I'm beat. I'm tired. I got to get some dinner. I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. What up, homies? We're back in the warehouse, and you know what? I just, I just can't quit. I can't quit this video. There's so much to cover, so much to talk about, so many things that we need to put on the table for you, the viewing audience at home. Now, what is all this laid out in front of me? You know what it is. It's Krylon, baby. And we got some Fusion. We got some Color Max. This orange, ugh, good grief. Anyways, what is cracking with the female caps on the Krylons? Good question, because they use two different valves. No, they couldn't just use one valve through both lines. They had to use two male valves, a four millimeter and a three millimeter valve. Because why not? Why not sow more confusion into things? This is what happens in corporate America. <laughs> It's true, it's true, it is what happens. Somebody in a board meeting made a bad choice and this is what we're left with. Um, I will tell you this, some of the fusion colors do lay down very nicely. Uh, the Color Max line is a little bit on the thin side. In fact, it's very thin and very watery. Unlike the Molotov, which is also a lacquer, but lays down very nicely. But hey, beggars can't be choosers sometimes. And you use what you have. I have been there, I have been there as well too. But, I will say this, I know you got it in you, Krylon. I know you can make a good paint like Molotov. I know you can do it. So just do it. Stop wasting our time. The color palette is very nice. They got some very nice colors in the color palette. Um, I, I am particularly fond of this one right here. Gloss Ivy Leaf. Very runny, doesn't cover good. But hear, hear me out, hear me out. If you got a nice buffed wall, a nice buffed wall works great. Buff wall. So if you're doing productions and stuff, you gotta fill in with a little bit of Krylon. <clears throat> with your Color Max cans, rock the three millimeter stem. You can put a female fat cap, you can put an easy rider, you can put whatever you want for the Rusto on the Color Max cans. <clears throat> for Fusion, four millimeter stem. You got a four millimeter stem on the Fusion. So any of those Valspar caps, Valspar caps, you can rock right on the Fusion. And as far as I can tell, the Fusion is their answer to Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch uh, 2X primer and paint in the same can. But it doesn't, eh, it doesn't really quite do it as well. It doesn't quite do it as well. This is coming from my heart. Pure love for you to make it right. Because Europe is kicking your butts. It is. So enough beating up on Krylon, but let's, let's just get down to it. Okay, so three millimeter valve, four millimeter valve. I will say this, the uh, matte ink blue plays down really nice. So why don't we just try it on our wall with these caps and see what it's all about. See you guys, guys, let's go ahead and do a quick little, just a quick little straight letter or something. Let's do a shout out. Let's do a shout out to Cap. Shout out to Cap. The most misunderstood, most maligned, the most hated, and the most loved. But I will tell you this, guys. Style Wars, it's not an instruction manual. It's a snapshot of a particular time in a particular place, um, over-dramatized by New York filmmakers, who tend to over-dramatize things a little bit. What is this? Gloss Ivy Leaf. Gloss Ivy Leaf. Female fat cat, by the way. Three millimeter stem. In case you just popped onto this video right now, three millimeter stem. Let's see how it lays down. All right, guys, let's go ahead and lay down our splash. I'm going to be using a satin sea glass. Satin. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is the three millimeter stem with the female fat cap. In case I forgot to mention that, which I did. I always do. Um, It looks a lot like Lagoon Blue in the Molotov. Looks a lot like it, actually. But if you're gonna fat cap fill in like I'm doing right now, especially around these edges, you gotta be a little careful because um, it will run on you. 
but it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. On a prime to all, for sure. So don't forget to bring your oops paint with you when you go to the yard. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start lacing in our outline. We're gonna be using some Rusto Flat Black because mm, it is so tasty. It is. Would be better with a female valve, of course. But you know what? We make do, we make do. We make do, we make do. All right, so we got an easy rider cap on a Rusto can. Let's rock. I gotta tell you, the Easy Rider definitely softens up the spray quite a bit. It's like using a German Outline 4 or German Outline 3 or Level 3. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. But I tell you this, this will soften your spray, especially if your can is like halfway full. You know, we can't turn them upside down anymore and let out the air, which was kind of a feature, Rusto. <clears throat> but if you let them get halfway full, it's just so much more buttery. So much better for the outline. This is so good for PC. Easy Rider, half full Rusto, magnifique. I forgot another 3D. I caught that one before the end of the video though. Got you guys. You know, you guys, you guys keep me so on point with the 3Ds. Cause I always forget them. I always forget one or two. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and do our outline. I got some uh, Acme in the yellow. Acme, bright yellow. It's a great color. Um, it's just what I happen to have laying around. I think uh, I think I probably would rather use like a pink or something, but it's what I have. It's what we're gonna use. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> there's an old saying: Rusto fills, belt and outlines. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Uh, but we're gonna do an Acme. Whoo! Tasty. That's tasty. Oh, I'm using the level one cap, by the way, level one. Mm. All right, guys, we got our outline done. It looks really nice and crisp lays down really good very happy with that uh, now it's time to do our shines and like I said earlier it's great to have a nice half or quarter full can of white to do your shines with because you get a lot more control cleaner line and uh, spring for the good stuff my friend you'll thank me later anyways we got some Montana gold shock white uh, level one let's do this Mm. Almost hit the camera. <laughs> Don't fall. I've already broken two cameras this year. <laughs> Easy there, buddy. Okay, we're safe. Alright guys, you did it! You did it! You painted a piece, a little bit of Krylon, some female caps, Easy Rider, the uh, female fat cap and the uh, all-star cap, which is a great cap, by the way. Uh, use some Krylon Color Max, some Krylon uh, Fusion, uh, a little bit of, um, I'm getting brain fart after brain fart here. A little bit of Acme, a little bit of Montana Gold, all mixed together, a menagerie of brands, all together to make a piece. And a shout out to King Cap MPC. <clears throat> Gotta teach you guys the history here, okay? I had to teach you guys the history. Um, but as you can see, you can get some very nice clean lines. Uh, the paint works really good on a prime surface. Going over a grilled surface, it's gonna be a rough one with those cry lines. I will say that ink blue though, should be, shouldn't be a problem with that one. Um, but you know, bring a little bit of roller to the yard. It's not like we haven't done that before. Uh, but yeah, good clean lines. Not bad, not too shabby, not too shabby indeed. Highly recommend. So anyways, why don't we go to the closeout and uh, I'll talk, I'll give, kind of give my little wrap up of everything and then uh, we'll call it a day, homie. We will call it a day. All right, love you fam. Peace. All right guys, we're back at the warehouse and we're about to close out this video, but I want to do something really quick uh, because I missed something very important in the last Krylon segment. And it is somewhere around here, where is it? Okay, 
There it is right there, Aziz Light. Uh, okay, right here we have a can of Krylon Fusion with a all-star cap. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not too into the all-star cap on the turbo can. I mean, it's okay, it's okay. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but on these Fusion cans, oh, this is your go-to outline cap, my boy. This is your go-to outline all around, clean line, uh, just good all around cap. And, and one thing I wanna mention before I get started on this is I filled this in with sugar paint and outlined it with Rusto. And uh, I gotta tell you, you know how Rusto tends to eat through paint? Because the formula is so different with the sugar, you can, you can cut back with it right over Rusto with its wet, whatever. It doesn't eat right through it. It's beautiful, it does really, really well. So that's a kind of, that's a plus for the sugar. Gotta give it to him for that. All right, so let's, uh, Let's do a couple quick little tests here. Is that even showing up in the video? Can you see these here? There we go. Look at those little dots. Aren't they nice? Check it out. Check it out. Let me just do like a little flare to big to small. Just so you guys can see. It looks really cool. It's like a it's like a Euro style cap on the Krylon cans. And yeah, you can do like your little, you know, bubbles with it or whatever. And uh, it's not too shabby at all. It's actually pretty damn nice on the Krylon, on these uh, fusion cans. It's very, very good. I actually enjoy using this quite a bit. Oh, quite a much. Sorry, quite a much. We're into quite a much right now, aren't we? Isn't that our new thing? Um, yeah, it's very nice. And this color is a uh, matte ink blue. It has it has the thickness and flavor of like a European can. Somehow Krylon got it really right with this color. It looks really good. It lays down really nicely, and um, I'm quite fond of it. So anyways, I just wanted to show that to you guys, just so you guys could see that uh, this cap right here, the All-Star cap, is a baller cap for your Krylon cans. Very controllable, very easy to use. It's good stuff, real, real good stuff. Anyways, um, I guess it's time to bring this video to an end because you now see what you can do with these caps with a little bit of practice on your cheap hardware store paint, Krylon Fusion. This is, a, this is a good color. Did I mention I really like this color? I like this color a lot. As opposed to their metallic silver, which I'm very disappointed in. Where is it at, where is it at? I actually threw it. I was so mad that I threw it. And then I broke the stem off of it and now I can't do anything with it. But it's not like I was gonna paint anything anyways. What is this? I don't even know what this is. They call it metallic silver. I call it poop. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me today to watch this video. I had some issues with audio, but somehow we, we soldiered on through and finished it. And uh, you got a chance to see how these caps work. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it gave you some creative ideas to get out there, to go paint something, to do whatever it is you need to do with these spray cans. Whether it's fine art, graffiti art, graffiti, uh, there's a difference. Street art, there's a difference. Uh, all those things that you do, hey, painting your own wicker furniture. I, I get the little old ladies that call us for that too. You are all welcome at artprimo.com. Did I mention this is artprimo.com? Yes, that is where you can get all these cool caps. Artprimo.com, artprimo.com. Not only do we sell spray paint, we sell caps, we sell markers, we sell Montana Gold, uh, we sell sugar, Wally caps, those are really neat. Uh, of course, the all-star cap, which I'm a big fan of. And uh, female fat cap, of course, too. Quite, quite a looker she is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I gotta finish this video so we can get started on the next one. Hopefully, I'll remember to get my audio settings right next time. Situation normal. How, how's Snafugo? Situation normal, always. <laughs> That's my videos. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you, subscribe. You better follow us. You better share these. Share the videos, please. Share the videos. Tell your friends about us. Tell them to subscribe. Um, if you have any comments below, I got some great feedback about the forums. Yes, I think I think we're onto something with that. I am currently going through your unboxing videos, so better get them up there. And uh, what else? What else? What else? There's always so much to go through. 
can't think of anything else. Just watch the videos, subscribe, holler at your boy, artprimo.com. Peace!